हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज रोहित सूर्यवंशी रजिस्ट्रेशन नंबर इज ट्वेंटी वन बी एम ए ट्रिपल वन एट टुडे आई एम हियर टू प्रेजेंट द प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ अलगोरिजम्स फॉर कंप्यूटराइज लेआउट डिजाइन सो फर्स्ट बेसिकली देर इज गोल फॉर स्टडिंग फैसिलिटीज लेआउट द गोल्स आर to reduce material movement re reduction if uh, asl space is required lower uh, wip means uh, work in progress uh, less product damage reduced storage space simplified material control and scheduling uh, there we are going to study in this ppt 3 algorithms craft aldept and corelab first we are going to discuss about the craft algorithm it is an improvement algorithm that starts with an initial layout and proceeds to improve the layout by interchanging the department pairwise to reduce the total material transportation cost it doesn't give the optimal layout but the results are good and near optimal which can be later corrected to suit the near of the layout planner uh, basically five inputs are required for the craft algorithm uh, initial layout flow data cost per unit distance total numbers of department and area of the department uh, the main objective function which is frequently taken into account is to minimize material handling cost therefore the department that incur the most in inter departmental movement should be located close to one another in general the total material handling cost is expressed as a relation as relation tc is equal to the summation of cijf ij into dij where the dij is distance between departments i i and j for the specified distance metric fij is the amount of material flow and cij material handling cost per unit flow per di distance traveled between the departments i and j uh, now we are going to discuss uh, aldep that the, the full form of aldep is automated layout design program uh, aldep is an acronym for automated layout design program uh, aldep is required similar to core lab except for the fact that it breaks the ties for entering departments randomly and the first department to enter is chosen randomly input for aldep uh, there are six inputs required for the aldep uh, length and weight width of the facility area of each department minimum closeness for preference uh, sweep width relationship showing the closeness rating location and size of the restricted area mm. here uh, size of facility and Oh, and all the six departments are expressed in terms of blocks the processor will the processor will be express, expressed with an example suppose the facility is eight block into six blocks that is vertical and horizontal uh, the departments are the required number of block are production area 14 blocks office rooms 10 blocks storage area 8 blocks dock area 8 blocks locker room four blocks and tool room four blocks there are five ratings uh, six ratings we can give uh, according to the importance of the uh, departments uh, that are a i a e i o u and x the uh, the full full form for these ratings are absolutely important especially important important ordinary important uni unimportant and undesirable uh, to find the next department to allocate uh, aldep starts to allocate the departments from the upper left corner of the facility the first department to 
is chosen at random. By starting with depart different department, Aldev can find different layouts of the same problem. Let's start with doc, doc room D. On the upper left, 8 corners must be allocated to for the dock area. The sweep width defines the width and number of blocks. Let's sweep width B to then dock area will be allotted with 2 into 4 equal to 8. To find the next department allocated, find the department that has the highest proximity rating with the given dock area. Storage has the highest proximity rating with the dock area. There are 4 blocks remaining below the dock area. After locate, allocating 4 blocks, the down wall is hit after which further allocation will be made on the adjacent 2 uh, columns, two columns and moving upward. Like this, after the wall is hit, allocation continues to adjacent uh, two columns and the right side and start moving back to the path where it is from came from. And each time we, it will, when all is hit, the zigzag pattern will continue. And according to this, we have to fill the all the uh, columns and uh, rows. After filling all the columns and rows, we will get this result as the layout of the fa facility. Uh, I'll dip. Mm, we have got this layout of facility. After the layout is obtained, a score of, for the layout is computed with the following conservation of proximately re relationship. Here are some proximately uh, relationship for the each rating we give to the department's relation. If the two departments are adjacent in the layout, then the weight corresponding to the rating between the two departments is added to the score. Let's calculate the score of this layout. Uh, here we we have calculated the score of the uh, our layout. Uh, after uh, here we t we have uh, the scores are uh, given before the names of re relationship between the departments after adding all the uh, scores we get total score as minus 763 Th this process is re related several times and the layout with the highest score is chosen so the highest score dep uh, layout is chosen and ALDEP is completed so we are going to start the core lab layout planning the, the full, full form for the core lab stands for computerized relationship layout planning core lab constructs layout by locating rectangular steps and departments the relationship chart provides the basis for the order in which different departments are placed inputs for core lab relationship charts with the weight for the departments numbers and area of the departments core lab definition of relationship with the values uh, here also we are going to use AEIOU but the values are different uh, 6 to 1 uh, in the descending order we can understand the core lab by using the one example uh, here the example is given the, so we have to calculate the uh, we have to form a layout of the facility using this table uh, uh, in the first step we have to assume the unit square one unit square is equal to 600 square uh, square feet in order to find the placement sequence the relationship chart is given as the following table here we can see the relationship between the one uh, department 1 and 2 is E department 3 and 2 is U department 4 and 3 is U like that we have to calculate the 
relationship between the all the departments so such relationship charts are used to compute the total closeness rating for all the departments to find the tcr for to find the tcr following table is given means we have to calculate the total closeness rating uh, using the previous uh, previous table so we are getting 1922 to 40 19 again 23 like this we are getting the tcr uh, uh, after the calculating the TCR we have to select the highest TCR value which is department number 5 then now select the depa department which having the closeness rating with department number 5 closeness with the department have has the value department which corresponds to A and in case of tie select department having the highest TCR value repeat the step 2 on the unassigned departments uh, then first first step uh, following steps are to be carried out for the formation of the layout the first step of the uh, placement sequence department 5 is placed at the center of the layout the second department is placed adjacent to the first on the on, in the figure now according to the sequence department 7 has to be placed but uh, they, there can be many combinations to find the best alternative we find uh, placement rating PR as shown is in the figure here we have calculated the PRs for the uh, according to the closeness rating and again the step 3 is repeated to obtain the whole layout in the final layout after this we have to calculate the total score of the layout uh, the formula for the calculating the clo uh, score of the layout is summation, is summation of closeness rating into length of the shortest part if two departments are adjacent they will have to a common border so the part length will be will come zero the calculation of the score of for combination of departments are sh shown in uh, we can find since we aim to minimize the layout score we can we have to choose the, uh, the uh, we we can select the depart uh, layout facility layout in which the score is less if the core lab is there we have to choose the less uh, less facility le less score of facility layout and if there is all depth we have to choose the definitely score of highest score uh, that that was all about the today's topic thank you